Long as fuck. Got big stacks stashed in the wall. Never wanna do nothing but ball. Five four, but I stand like ten feet. And these pussy niggas don't know me. Continue to sleep on me, and you gon' see. Money, mula, that's who I be. And I'm riding these goddamn streets. They say the early bird gets the worm. I've been waiting, yeah, it's my turn. I don't give a fuck your concern. And it's only good cause I burn. Yeah, yeah. And it's only good cause I burn. Uh. Walk up on the bitch like nail check. Send on your bitch like nail check. Clean the bitch like nail check. Nail check, nail check. I need a bag like money moves. Trap in the bag like money moves. I get the bag like money moves. Money moves, money moves. I get the bag, then I flip it. I get the whip, then I trick it. Broke people make me sick. Bitch, I was born back in 96. Whip that's clean, the latest bitch. Lost out and you know I'm doing crazy shit. Can't fuck with a hoe or a lazy bitch. I really been balling at yeah, this prime time. Bitch, been hating. Hoes get in line. Can't help when I walk through, bitch, I shine. One of a kind. 24, but I'm on my grind. With a state of mind. Advancing time. My nails always a perfect 10. And when I play, no, I play to win. Benjamin's in this life of sin. Gonna go hard to the very end. Yeah. Walk up on the bitch like nail check. Send on your bitch like nail check. Clean the bitch like nail check. Nail check. Nail check. I need a bag like money moves. Trap in the bag like money moves. I get the bag like money moves. Money moves. Money moves. They want me to rap about sex. Nigga, all I cut is check. I'ma die by my respect. I'm the rookie, yeah, in the vet. Get the money and then I flex. Thousand dollars around my neck. Me and you, we is not the same. Money, moolah, I'm ahead of the game. Punk bitches, they assume. Shawty, I'm the realest in the room, yeah, yeah. I like my hands all blue, yeah, yeah. Have your man stuck like glue, yeah, yeah. Tell him, ain't no seats left. Bitch, I'm best dressed. Your man's looking impressed. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell that nigga, cut a check, yeah. Walk up on the 
bitch like nail check. Send on your bitch like nail check. Clean the bitch like nail check. Nail check, nail check. I need a bag like money moves. Trap in the bag like money moves. I get the bag like money moves. Money moves, money moves. We'll do it live! Fuck it! We'll do it live! Fuck it! Check, 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 one, two.
check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You already know. Let me set this thing up. I almost forgot. There we go. Check, 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 check. Hey, hey, hey. I like that effect right there. All right, let me turn this music down a little bit. We're gonna get to it. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, peoples? We in here. What is going on? Whole lot has <laughs> went down since the last time I streamed. Uh, now y'all getting a healthy dose of the NPC stuff that's going on. Uh, I appreciate everybody. So you know the vibes. I'm about to go ahead and do some of the shout outs here. You know, with the patented echo. So as you guys know that I am focused on you guys because these streams are only possible because you guys watch them and I really do appreciate that. So I got to give my credit where credit is due and that is to you guys, bars, sort of. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get it started. A magnificent, a magnificent. What's good? What's good? What's good? Tony Boy Beast, what's going on? R&B Boy, R&B Boy, good, good, good. Birdman C, what is popping? Always good to see you in here. My new, what's going on? My new, what's going on? Gigi, Gigi, Facts, Electronics, what's good? Good, good, Ronald, Big, what's good? DJ Sweetie, I haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? Stephanie, whoa, whoa, whoa. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, there's, oh, there's, oh, there's, wrong button. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> Come on, hell no. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Antitrust was good. Antitrust was good. Edwin Torres was good. Macho Torres man. Good. Macho Randy man. Savage. 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 What is Savage. good, brother? What is good, brother? Good, brother. It's nice. Perkulum, perkulum, perkulum. Adio, adio, adio. What is good? What is good? What is good? My brother, my brother, my brother. DJ Tyson, DJ Tyson BT, what's Tyson, up? What's Russ, up? Is good. What's Russ is good. Frank Mack, what's going on? Mr. What's good? Eric, what's going on? Eric, what's going on? Chillax, what's good? I am good. What's going on? What's going on? Michael, what's good? Michael, what's good? What's good? Yo, yo, yo. See who else I miss. See who else I miss. Yeah, so. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. Yeah, Bowie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we. <laughs> wow, I love to talk shit. <laughs> Dodge, it, Dodge, it, Dodge, it, Dodge, it, Dodge, 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 we are running at 13 minutes here. I, you know, I do the countdown so I can get my stuff together and uh, make sure that I have all of my stream stuff together. Uh, let me check this camera. Yeah, that's gotta be straightened out a little bit, but we'll take care of that. Uh, for you guys, I am gonna be on the NPC Live. I will have a different uh, setup for the NPC one that's you know in the other room or whatnot. Uh, appreciate the donation from uh, Perculum Audio. <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah, so I saw some early questions uh, for those who don't have time to stick around. The main thing I want to say is that I will have timestamps ready for you guys. So that way you don't have to stick around. You can always come back. And yeah, so again, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm going to go ahead and start answering questions. Uh, some of the basic stuff here, uh, the ones that I know, at least uh, Stephanie Lovecock, love that name there. Uh, the new MPC equals three days straight without sleep bring on the matchsticks hey uh let's see uh picked up my npc live today i am super hyped that's good moose to the producer i like you i like to see people make those moves macho man is uh ready for this stream even though i didn't get to watch all of mg the future's uh streams but it's always good to see mg the future uh active on youtube it's, it's always a breath of fresh air regardless of what the topic is and i just you know i really appreciate brothers like that uh, make sure you hit that like button to help support this uh, channel, help support this video being shown to other people just in case they want to see a start to finish thing. Edwin Torres says, uh, can I use an XLR cable that's converted on the other end to USB from the Mackie 24 8 bus to the MPC Live 2? No, I'm just going to go ahead and say no. Just pick up a class compliant freaking audio interface and that's all you will be able to use okay class compliant USB audio interface okay so we, we, when you don't see something in a video and then you go and ask another content creator if it's possible 
the chances are it's not possible. Go ahead and do the research yourself. And when I mean by research, I mean go ahead and buy the XLR cable to USB and do it yourself and try and fail. There's nothing wrong with failing. You might come up with something and be able to relay that to everybody else that's in the music community. There are plenty of class compliant audio interfaces out there. Uh, one of the ones I'm gonna pick up soon is the Tascam 12, the one that was used in on the Akai uh, video from the official Akai professional guys, of course. Uh, and yeah, and that's what one of the main topics we'll talk about in this chat talk is uh, the MPC. The MPC. Well, 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 is 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 the Groove Box replacing the DAW? The DAW? <laughs> is it though? Um, I think a lot of people are very shocked with last week's brand news. Uh, I was very shocked myself when I uploaded the firmware or did the firmware update myself. I was like, damn, like there's a whole lot to digest with this one. And not only with some of the changes that people have been screaming about for the MPC uh, for forever or the MPC series current generation, but just the fact that audio interface support has finally made it to the MPC. It's already been on the machine plus for quite a while, but uh, it, it, I think for the most part, it's kind of mm, when I tested it with the Cherry Audio Fuse uh, myself on the Machine Plus, it wasn't very straightforward, just to say that. Um, but nonetheless, though, I think it's very good that, you know, uh, groove boxes are reaching a certain plateau to where people are just saying, hey, you know what? Uh, I want to try to do music differently. I want to be more interactive with the music that I produce and that for all sake is great for me. Um, I've been producing Dollars for like what a year now and really haven't had any complaints. I haven't had any, haven't really, I don't have any complaints. There we go, that's a better sentence. But I, I think a lot of people will get to love what's going on here. Also, AnyTrust uh, asked me a question uh, talking about, am I gonna explain a time stretching or am I going to show that uh, in this demonstration? No, I'm not. There's no point in me doing something I've done several times. I've got tutorials. Uh, all you have to do is just go to my sampling tutorials. Uh, if you go to the MPC one sampling tutorial that I did last year, uh, this is about the same technique, but it will use an audio track versus just using like uh, just bouncing down a track so you can just take the audio and put it in a, a drum program and then play it that way which is great, and you can also use a clip too as well, because once you uh, bounce down, like whatever you chopped up that you want to time stretch and you put it in clip mode or clip a, a clip program, well, guess what? Uh, all the time signature in itself, everything is uh, will be put into that. Uh, all of that will be a part of the metadata, and then therefore you'll be able to time stretch and do all kinds of stuff. And if you've seen my tutorial on using the clip programs, then you know how in depth and how good uh, the clip program can do or be if you just want to do time, stre time stretching loops and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and that seems to be one of the things that people want to kind of move the goalposts about, but hey, either way, uh, once that's done, what's next? You're gonna complain about the arranger uh, being on the MPC? And to me, honestly, again, that's, I'm not too enthused with an arranger being on the MPC. I've made tons of beats using track mutes and also using song mode. It, it's, it works 100% well and it's very easy to use. It's very simple. Got plenty of tutorials on that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I think 2.10 is very good and that's pretty much the, the vibes of the evening here. I'm gonna go ahead and finally play with it uh, first at hand and be able to get people to have start and finish. Uh, results to see how you know if the, if it's your steez or not and I think that will be awesome for that uh, but yeah it's it's starting to with these new updates and these new group boxes and the way that they're coming out and and how solid they are for music production depending on what style of music you do uh, which you could pretty much get any genre with the MPC um, the polyan tracker is pretty solid at every single genre too um, and the Machine Plus is very solid too. So uh, you have your great choices. You have pretty good choices out there, you know? Uh, I'm, I haven't really 
spent that much time with the Octa Track. I'm not really <laughs> enthused about doing anything with the Octa Track, but I wouldn't deny it. But obviously, Electron's going to have to do better and actually reach out to people in our sphere, in our sphere, and not in whatever sphere outside of us, for me to actually care about it. That's just the way I'm going to rock with uh, Electron from this point on. It's only fair. Uh, I'm not going to waste any money on them. Because they don't, obviously, they don't think that we care about their shit. Uh, that force is too complicated. Uh, the force is very easy. I got a whole t uh, tutorial on how to make your first beat on it. And, and that's, it's, it is what it is. If you can't watch that and, and learn anything, Zordon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you for the new Thank sub. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. But uh, yeah. So it's a little bit uh, about the limiter. Yeah, the limiter is it's not hard to do. It's not hard to use. Uh, uh, Electron doesn't rock with, uh, with us public. Uh, yeah, they, they uh, it, I, I'm, I care not to even <laughs> spe uh, speak on that. I've, I've reached out to Electron both in person. I uh, know the guy, the, uh, the marketers and all this other stuff. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, I were about 21 minutes in. Um, I guess I'll just have my closing statements about how I feel about DAWs now. Um, DAWs are still good for one thing, at least like tracking vocals. But even with the new MPC video, uh, the tax, uh, the Tascam 12. Let's go ahead and type that in real quick. Tascam 12, model 12, um, because the Tascam model 12 is actually a standalone unit in itself. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here. Uh, come on. Come on, slow computer. My computer's not slow, but you know. Boop. All right, so what y'all saw in the NPC video was Andy Mac. Shout out to Andy Mac. Hey, hey. hey. Uh, you saw him using the Tascam 12 and doing multi tracking uh, with, it, with it hooked up to the MPC. I can't remember. It was, it was the MPC 1. I Thank you for the sub. But uh, yeah, you saw him using this Model 12 mixer, USB audio interface, and multi. And oh, they fine. I guess they got it back in stock now. But it, they was uh, they was sold out everywhere after that video. Um, but yeah, this mixer is, it has a, a little bit of a story to itself. You can also use this uh, as a standalone unit too, as well. And that means that you can record vocals. Would you want to do it on here? Probably not. But it's possible. But this is awesome for anybody that does. Any multi-tracking instrumentation, guitar playing, and so forth. And yeah, you, you have a lot of things that you can rock with, especially uh, in tandem with the MPC. So you're starting to see what you... Uh, I want to say it's a changing of the guard, but I always will think that people will stick to digital production uh, because it's just easier. It's, it's more affordable. Um, it's... I don't know. Uh, there's things that I could say that warrants people to want to stay there but you know again uh you're a different type of person if you watch my content that because that means that you like to do production uh quote unquote the hard way but it's not the hard way um yeah you know task model 12 uh is a compact all-in-one integrated mixer designed for music and media creators songwriters and performers featuring including task critically acclaimed multi-track recorder usb audio midi interface daw uh, control functions and so forth so I want to take a look at the back here. Let's look at the back real quick. Um, there's a lot of messages I'm getting. Yeah, I see MIDI in and MIDI out. That's pretty cool. So that means you can have some expandability on it. Uh, I kind of like the audio fuse a little bit more in certain cases uh, because, you know, you get enough ends so you can do like guitar and have like an ext external microphone uh, output for, uh, you know, if you want to play like different instruments or the hand drums and stuff like that. And that's kind of the... Uh, the way I've been trying to produce for quite a while now. And the fact that I could do it with this, just the MPC just makes production a whole lot sweeter uh, in this regard. So, but yeah, um, <laughs> uh, this is the price. I wouldn't be surprised if the price goes up on this. You know how it goes with gear. Uh, Teddy Bear Teddy Source, Bear, Source, 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 Source. Oh yeah. If you guys haven't heard his track yesterday, he was a part of the finalists, uh, the four finalists uh, last Sunday, this past Sunday. And uh, the song that he dropped, uh, I, I don't know if I say uh, the person's name wrong or, or not. The singer, it was a female singer called it Sab, maybe. Uh, but yeah, the song was really dope. I actually listened to it a lot. Uh, you love Zounds.com, so do I. Um, yeah, so it was the MPC one. Okay, cool. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, once you get all your hardware connected correctly, it's hard going back to a DAW to do anything other than mix and arrange. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and given that if you put in enough time, it, it doesn't get really hard. Seems like work being has been improved. Uh, we'll see if that is the case. Uh, come on, Av, kick the session off. Uh, yeah, I got you guys. I got you. Um, have you used the Micro Freak recently with the MPC? Uh, no, but I will be. Uh, using all of okay, that's that's the name Teddy. Um, yeah, my bad if I said the name wrong. I'm just bad at pronouncing stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm ready to uh, kick things off here. You know, we we uh, I know you guys uh, want to see what the proceedings of the evening and just not uh, have this full conversation about chat talking and stuff like that. But you know, that's the thing I, I like to check in with y'all guys and you know just continue to hold hold me down, get the likes up. That helps with the channel. Again, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, it looks like we are ready to go. Hopefully, I'm not too rusty. I've, it's been like maybe a week or so, and that's because I've focused on other things. But that's <laughs> besides the point. So let's go ahead and get some stuff uh, <clears throat> working in accordance. You see my damn AirPod in the way. You know, at least it ain't no weird stuff. Um, order for food. You know, Bachelor of Life. <laughs> New Bachelor of Life again. Um... Move this MPC just a little bit. And it looks like some things have... Uh, I don't like the MPC rocking around like that when I'm making beats. Uh, but yeah, it's going. Uh, I had to test some things out. I think I might have to get my SD card. So uh, if you don't mind, guys. Oh, oh De Delvin going to do his cook up while I'm cooking up. I'm still using the M-Box uh, 2. It's time for you to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm just saying, brother. I'm just saying, brother. Uh, give me a second here, guys. Okay, the mic fall real quick. The retro edition looks amazing. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite. Uh, I like the retro colors better because the way it presents itself when you're doing stuff like this. Um, this camera is awful when it comes to different things, but you know, 100%. So speaking of which, let's go ahead and get this camera situated. I'm gonna switch some of the properties real quick so you're gonna get to see me adjust some of the things. Cause I was, I'm still a little out of it. Uh, with the live stream so yeah all right uh had to make sure that i okay change the white balance here 400 typing in the figures all right turn the auto focus off so we don't get anything blurry take it down to six here Low light compensation off. And uh, let's mess with this gain. There we go. Now it doesn't look so great. My hands don't look overly exposed. I actually look like a black person. All right. There we go. Good to go here. I got to test out the audio. Run a few beats. Audio sounds good. Let me find my headphones. All right. Woo! Boy, I when it when boy cooking, 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 cooking. All right, I gotta find one more thing. I'm. I apologize, guys. I I was just excited to do this live stream. I've been what I wanted to do it last week, but. <laughs> Thank you for the Thank sub. You for the Thank sub. you for the sub. All right. Uh, where is it at? Damn it. 
And I think I'm using that to uh, wipe my glasses. All right. Got to find one more thing, guys. Shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me unhook myself real quick. Sorry. I know, I know guys, I know. I know chat. It's not what y'all came here to see. Um one man show. Alright. And I pull up the chat here so that I can see your beautiful snarkly comments. Some trolling. The love, you know. The love I I get from you guys. Comes in the form of trolling a lot, but you know. I know it's love. Uh good enough. So, where we where where should we begin? Um, I guess I just grab a. Let's go with something sample based first, so we can talk about some of the, the new features. All right. So, all right, here we go. Got to grab the a uh, sample sample stuff. Uh, what we got? I'll make my job a little easier today. Let's go in here and let's hear some samples. You already know the vibes, this is Low Five Melodics, my favorite. I'll grab that sample here. All right, we're gonna go into expansions. All right, uh, let's grab some drums. Uh, yo, what haven't I not messed with in a while? Soul, soul provider. I actually kind of like that. Let me grab that. All right, I like those three drums. All right. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do here is make sure that I have an empty drum program. Uh, so that way, if this, so the sample just doesn't drop itself into any of the programs that exist right now, it's just a good tip that I would like to give to all you guys. So here we are, we're in version, uh, let's go ahead and show that on the screen here. We're on version uh, 2.10. And we got it, good to go, obviously. Um, and what we're gonna do is just open up the sample editor. And some of the new things you probably won't be able to see, um, but you have a whole ass video of me doing it anyways, but uh, one of the bigger and newer additions of this is this right here, over here is key detection. And so uh, they have a B that is capital B, and usually when you're writing musical notations with just letters, uh, the capital B would be what? Uh, it would be a major. So when I look over here in the key here, it says B major. So uh, the key detection has worked. It hasn't failed us. I mean, you can hit it again, but uh, the thing is, I probably won't work with that. Uh, what I, ooh, no, I don't wanna do anything with that, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, but what I'm going to do is actually tune this up. Let's go. Um, but uh, I will say this, if you're gonna do key, key detection um, on the MPC right now, uh, or any time since uh, 2.10, uh, you wanna do process. So go into process, and then there, you will see an option that is pitch shift. I don't know why it's like that, but it is like that. Um, but yeah, go into pitch shift, shift it up, and then just do it. Uh, or shift it up, down, whatever you want to do. And now, when you go into key detection and you press detect key, uh, it will tell you, you know, the next uh, note that it is now. And so it's a C, C sharp major. Uh, hmm, I don't think that would be a C sharp. I think that would be a D flat. But you know, you, you know the vibes. process again. 
I don't want that. Uh, no. I don't like that, but yeah, let's go uh, two up. No. Go back to era two. There we go. Hit that. Do it. Let's hear it now. All right, we got a couple of, uh, what's going on? Oklahoma in the building. I uh, got a layer of the cowbells, more cowbells. Also, with the computer, a million new plugins come, and then you got to learn those if you uh, get the bug. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure about the one, but my, my Live 2 came with Splice already integrated. Uh, yeah, all the, all the NPCs come with, uh, with splice integration, uh, but I have yet to talk about that. There's some things behind the scenes and reasons why I don't, um, but you have to, but you have to, uh, have a splice account already. You can get three free months, uh, with any new NPC live X or one. So just in case you want to know, I'd be nice enough to do that. Let's actually put the BPM in here since the BPM is on this loop. Um, supposed to be 64. Oop. We'll see. All right, let's trim this up. Chop. BPM chop. All right, I'm pretty good with that. Um, I'm not going to talk about all the preliminary stuff, but, uh, you know, uh, there are things that you could do to make this process a little easier on you. Um, I'm good to go, though. Uh, let's check out some of those drums, though. Uh, and that's the next thing. That's the next thing. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's get a count in here. Okay, so everything is good and set. So if I was to record, it's a little slow. Yeah, uh, TC will be, will not be used, so. And let me actually listen, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not how I want that. Yeah, just a little two. I'm gonna double length and then do it again. I know the vibes. I got to do some things here. Messing with samples. I like to cut off some of the lower frequencies so I can get other things in there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cut those down. And All 
right, let's lay that out. Three, four. I don't like that last shot. All right, let's do that one more time. All right, let's do the main part again. Four. What I will do is this. Yeah, Av hasn't touched his machine in a minute. Um, I will. I will when the time gets there. I wanted to do a, a check out the update. How much do you like making beats on the MPC? I I like it so much that most of my content involves the MPC on there. So that let that be the answer to your question. Uh, let's give it a little bit of that lo-fi. Harmonics, air lo fi. Alright. Just add a little bit of noise and stuff. So this next part here, what I'm gonna do is this, since that is just a little less. The next, usually what I do is I add a bass line and there's, <laughs> I got a plenty of choices now. I got Odyssey here. Uh, let's check out Odyssey for what it is. Uh, let's go into bass. Let's set the, what was it? Uh, can't remember if it was C. You know, niggas, boy, they, they like to call you even though you don't want to hear from them. <laughs> Come on, man. Bruh, I don't need to hear from you right now, my nigga. I apologize. Somebody was calling me right in between my damn. Uh, you know what? I might turn my damn phone off. Cause I, I'm, I'm told niggas. Uh, 
uh, when you're making beats on your MPC, one of the main things you need to get used to, if you already use a plugin, make sure you hit the plus sign to bring up another damn plugin. It's something that I do on accident every now and then. So I know a lot, almost everybody would do it. Uh, you know, so that, <laughs> with that said, yeah. But let me see, I'm just checking the chat, make sure everything's going. Uh, DJ Sharp, MC Live, check Musician Paradise for help with custom chords. All right. Uh, make a key BZ type beat. <laughs> hey, Av. Is there a may way to upload my own scales and chords into the MPC? Yes, there is. I have a video on that, but I recommend uh, our Musician Paradise because that's the main thing that he likes to do. He's a fantastic keyboard player. Uh, this sounds like Travis Scott. Travis Scott. <laughs> hey, how do you, you capture your audio in standalone so the stream can hear? I want the standalone beats on Twitch. Okay, English. Uh, I just plug my MPC into my audio interface. What else? Uh, top five beats uh you've made of all time? I don't know. Uh, I have a lot of beats I made. Um, we like for songs to be completed with them when, and I have that, and people are acting like dickwads. So. Using this Q not uh, Q link to turn down the volume. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was an end. Turn up the, the transpose right over here on the track. Maybe not Selena. Pick something out of the Odyssey here. Let's pick future paths. Next thing in this is obviously not to have this beat be so monotonous. So let's go ahead and uh, flip this. 
I just type in flip and just go with it. Uh, I'm gonna hit do it. Uh, I'm copying over the sequence there. And once I get over here, I'm gonna let it uh, flip over. All right, now what we're gonna do here is mute the first two tracks and then go to track number two and uh, try to. Or something like that. Three, four. I know. I don't like that pause there, but I could do something. I got an idea. That was late. Super late. Three, four. So, uh, the reason why I have that one pause in there is I want to see what this new feature can do. So, I'm going to hold menu, program. Of course, you have the MPC 1 or the X. You can just hit the program edit button. But uh, <laughs> I guess that's the caveat. But I'm going to go into here, and there's a sample. Uh, so, it has tail lymph, so you can have sample tails. And that's, uh, that tail is too short for me, so I'm, I'm going to turn the tail lymph up, and now let's listen to it. And you see the one part with the mute, whatever, you know, with the, where the sample was gone, like an empty little mute part, it has dissip dissipated, it's gone, you know, because I can turn up the tail lymph. Um, there was a one part I wanted to work on. I'll give that a little tail lamp too. And the reason why I'm giving that, this sample a tail lamp, because of that one little weird pause when I start this, when it starts the second bar, well, no, it starts the third bar. Alright, so I need to add a little bit more tail here. Let's add about 700 milliseconds. Yeah, it sounds way more natural. Wow. And that was the least. Thank you for the Thank sub. You for the Thank sub. you for the sub. Damn, I really don't like that effect, but whatever. Um <laughs> and that was the least favorite thing that I liked about the new update, but it turns out to be probably one of the better ones if you are a simple bass producer or, you know, you, you drum breaks or something like that. So, uh, all right. So now let's add some of the more elements, uh, some of the bigger elements to this track. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just add titles to these tracks here. So when I start track mutant and stuff like that we can just uh, rock out uh let's see i think that's the base and next one is synth so let's go with synth there boom and yeah we're good to go um let's go and record that in there go to bass track uh, let's get out of that.
Now the sample has uh, kind of a, like a, a bouncy synth based uh, thing in there. And I can probably see if I can. Give me a second, guys. I'm uh, messing with this one part here. Uh, matter of fact, I, I'm gonna look. Uh, Musa, I seen some one terabyte things on NPC stuff. Uh, yeah, Victory acted demonstrating it earlier in this video. Uh, let me go over here. Thanks to the new subs, by the way. Polka, I'm starting to speed polka bands with three NPC players, a fusion of Slayer and Masters of Polka. We hope to tour Lithuania at some point if we're lucky. I don't know if that's like a serious thing or is that like a joke? Uh, uh, Above the Rim soundtrack, it's one of my favorite soundtracks. I'm just scrolling back and seeing what's going on. You gotta pay for those additional sounds, right? No. Musician Paradise. Hey, what's going on, my dude? Musician Paradise, Musician was, Paradise, was, Paradise good. was good. Um, I did have like some failures here, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check out one of the new synths. Uh, let's try hype. <laughs> I've been crying. Crying to Akai to release hype synth for this. Actually, no, that's not what I wanted. about that's hyper by hype sense is that uh i can have piano or <laughs> bell sounds that sound like bells and pianos without going and grabbing uh i'm not really into the the key what what do you call it the key groups uh programs you gotta dig too deep in there except for like f9 
Ah, shit. <laughs> Whoopsies. Can't believe I made that rookie mistake. It happens to the best of us, right? I'm going to select all here and then press shift and cut. Well, actually, I could have. I, damn, I just reverted back to the old days of me learning the NPC. I could have just recorded over that track. But whatever. It happens to the best of us. And I want that a little higher. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think I'll use TC for that. That just seems like it's going to be, uh... Maybe not. Damn it. This is what happens when you don't practice. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, it's best to kind of like start slow. Ding 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 Okay. Whew. Ah, I was so fucking close. Three, four. Whatever, it's close enough. Slowing down the tempo would help, yes.
I miss my cue too. save it fuck it uh let's purge all those unused samples here let's save it under my heart well my sd card as usual per usual all right i guess that will be sort of a baptendo uh, i don't know uh firmware vibes let's call it firmware vibes firmware vibes not really a beat that i would really keep but you know i, I think i'm gonna just instead of deleting shit just just give it a chance and do something with it later. Rule of thumb. Sometimes you'll uh, I go back to a live stream and I'm like, damn, I didn't say that beat and I should have. <clears throat> but I'm looking at questions here. Uh, that beat section sounds green. Uh, does the X have even bigger pass? Never look. No, it does not. Um, Winsard says, yeah, Jay, they should make an external controller with 16, 32, 64 pass, etc. If you're referring to Akai, they have already done that. And with mediocre success, that will be the MPD-232, uh, uh, the MPD-226, I believe, and then MPD-32. Uh, uh, my first uh, full MIDI pad MPC was the MPC-32, uh, MPD-32, which I just threw away. I threw it away. I was going to sell it on eBay for like 10 bucks or some shit. Uh, but uh true launchpad pro with mini um yeah you got plenty of there's plenty of 60 port four pad uh matrix type layouts man like you you got enough there um to choose from all right so this one uh will be something that i, I think would be pretty cool I, it will utilize the other features however um it's not one of the most popular genres that people like me to do on the mpc <laughs> if you can guess what that is it is trap uh, so what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and gather, uh, myself here. Uh, let's hear the BPM. But, uh, it'll make sense. Once I dig in, I think I'll go a little faster. I go about 74. Maybe 76. Yeah. All right. So just grabbing some stuff here. Got it stuck in my way. So I'm going to use the expansion. This expansion right here. Let's go ahead. Uh, this expansion is 
the pure platinum expansion, but I cannot find my favorite kit. Am I bugging? Uh, oh, it's on the bottom. Yeah, that's my favorite kit out of that expansion. Uh, let's see here. So a few things, few other features like envelopes and stuff like that. It's very important and maybe you can perhaps incorporate it with your boom bap or whatever. It's not impossible to do so, uh, but it, I'm gonna use uh, the new program editing uh, from the drums. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cool shit uh, that you can mess with. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the NPC and the Advanced 49 is all I need. That's cool, that's dope, that's dope. Um, but what is going on? Uh, what is going on, Jay? Uh, true Launchpad Pro with uh, MIDI. Uh, well, the Force gets stuff that NPC don't. I know the MP the Force has one thing that the MP and the NPC doesn't, and it only only because it makes sense on the Force because the Force you could not arrange beats on the Force at first, and that was the arranger. Uh, people I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Let's go. It's trap time. Indeed, indeed, sir. Uh, so that uh, so let's go ahead and get on back on topic here. Uh, so uh, so TC will be needed. Two, three, four. Mm-hmm. And next track will be hi hats. Let's go no repeat. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna record those in. Thank you for the donation, by the way. And we're gonna do some couple, a couple of different things here. Cause I can do them now. I'm gonna add those in. Of course. All right, with this, is, this is a very important thing because there's some things I want to test out. I don't know if it's for sure. All right, now that I have that, uh, usually, usually it's a little bit more free-flowing. I have something good to go, but uh, I'm messing with uh, Hype Synth because I want to see some things here. So let's uh, pick out some sounds. So Hype Synth has a lot of sounds that I liked about the, the Akai Force, but uh, <laughs> there's a few things I don't like about the Akai Force. Uh, when it comes to a few things um, that I, why I just wanted to for, uh, the hype. All right, let's lower that sound. Let's uh, get into the progressions here. I'm gonna mess with a couple of progressions from uh, none other than your boy, our boy. And you know who that guy is. If you don't, it's musician friend. I mean, damn, musician friend. Wow, not the <laughs> the website. Musician Paradise. Oh crap. Ah, uh, let's uh, turn up the octaves here.
probably won't use that sound. I kind of see. No. Uh, I'm just gonna fuck it, fuck it. Let's get out of pass here. Oops, you already know what I did. Remember what I told y'all guys about hitting the plus sign? I didn't do that. So now I gotta suffer and go back and find my, my pad. I can't remember if it's in here. Um, I hate when I do this shit. I'm gonna go back and go back. Gonna go back. I'm be trap nigga. I'm gonna pull up hype simp, yeah. Gonna get me a lead, lead sound, lead sound. I'm gonna go get the pat performance. Actually, I like that shit. I'm feeling all gooey inside and shit. And I can still gotta pick out an 808. <laughs> let's, let's mess with Mellotron real quick. I hate this fucking gooey because it's too bright for this cheap ass camera. I wish a Kai would tell me they secret. Like a Mellotron is fire. You did it, boys. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Lead. Chords. <laughs> what is that the way here? This go be crispy as a bitch. <laughs> this ain't gonna be crispy, boy. Hey. Didn't wanna have to do it. Didn't wanna have to cook up today. <laughs> I can't. I'm trash at fucking making music, dog. Whoa, shit. Uh huh, y'all gonna have to wait for this. Oh, there we are. We already at the end of his hair. You already know the vibes. The end of his gonna be hidden. Let me go to that big Texas motherfucker right now. Huh? Yup. Yes, sir. Uh huh. I ain't ready for the 808. I ain't ready for the 808. <laughs> 808. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. It's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Let's get it. Ah oh, shit. I gotta fix something. Oops. We gonna hit y'all ain't ready for that way yet. <laughs> Let me put this thing to mono. Cause it need one voice. Polyphony. Not polyphony. Fuck the nigga that keeps on correcting me in the comment section. <laughs> uh huh. Hey.
Hey. Gotta be light skin to rap on this beat. I'm talking about Drake. You know how it be. Hey. You know how it be. Drake, no. How it gon' be now? Gotta be light skin as fuck. Gotta be light skin as fuck. Alright, now, now that. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, hell no. Um, yeah, uh, let's see here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and title this drums, the first part drums, so I actually know what I'm doing. I actually messed the way, the way I lay out the beats, I usually, with my trap beats, I lay out my drums first. I, well, every beat I lay out my drums first, but I lay out the clap, snare in one track, then I'll do like the hi hats in the next track. And then I'll do the 808 in the next track, but I didn't. I did the chord progression first, so I got the 808 all the way up here. And I hate that because it takes away from what I really want to do. Uh, but anyway, so there's a new intricate feature in the MPC that makes this really a really good update, especially for trap-based producers. And it's going to flip you out because one is an effect. Well, the both of them are effects, but one is native to the program edit. So what you're gonna do here? I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Anybody in the chat that uses to studio and can translate the out knob into MPC Live Two language. Lol. Hope this MKE since man face palming medium dark skin tone. And you're lucky if you can find a studio. I want an original MPC studio. Somebody offered me one a while ago, but shit, I lost that damn email like within a day. Like it was like next day. Uh, I looked, and then by the time it was 5 p.m damn near people more people were asking me questions and i'm like shit god damn it like i still i want an npc style i'm willing to pay um i'm just saying all right so there's a new feature uh in the npc all right so we're in the main make sure that you're on the uh a drum program i i want these hi-hats to have all kinds of articulation uh despite me not doing that the normal way i would do it the normal way i would do this I would have the hi-hat, I would hit the hi-hat, go into 16 levels. Oops, hit the hi-hat, go into 16 levels. Uh, put it on tune. And then, you know, just do whatever, note repeat. And then I would just close this and then be able to mess with, you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the normal way I would do it. That's my old way of doing it. Now, it's a little easier to get that kind of workflow when you go into program edit, because now, uh, let's get out of that. Make sure you got a note repeat. Because now you have these, uh, a couple of things you could do. And if I can remember what it is, it, I know it's in envelopes. Envelope filter, envelope pitch. All right, so you have to tab over three times. So in your program, for your drum program edit, make sure that you hit the sound that you want to control. Now uh, I can control the depth. I'm going to mess with the depth real quick. See if I can, uh, which knob? Okay, well, I'll just do the def normally. All right, now I'm gonna mess with the velocity modulation pitch and just mess with that. I'm gonna go ahead and main, go back to main here, then go back into program edit, boop, and I'm still here. And now I'm gonna mess with the pitch. Velocity, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So obviously it's velocity modulation, so the the soft hour hit this. It will control how the pitch modulation would be. Kind of hear it. Hmm. Dang it. So I might do those hi-hats again. I don't know. So, 
with that, I'll just go back in the main since this is my hi-hat track. Uh, let's go ahead and hit note repeat and record that in again. And just make sure that when you're doing your note repeat, that you hit softer or harder. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do it again because I messed up. Two, three, four. I'm just doing variations of velocity. You can hear it now. Hopefully y'all got that. Hopefully I explained that somewhat interesting, uh, but that's probably one of the cooler things if you're trying to do like trap hi-hats. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go into here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and solo these hi-hats and I'm going to Go into pad. Now, we're gonna do something really stupid. Uh, since I have this, this pad selected, make sure, A -T -A -3, uh, I'm gonna insert an effect on this. You could imagine if you are a FL Studio, FL Gang, what the hell? Why is it doing that? It looks weird on the screen, holy shit. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Don't worry, I'll do a live stream from the uh, from my iPhone tomorrow. Um, it'll be clear for sure. The new setup. This is the old school setup. I just you know wherever I make music or whatever I feel comfortable, I do it. Anyways, so I'm gonna use one of the new effects, and it's not in harmonics. It will be a modulation. It'll be called stutter. So with stutter, if you're into like effectrix and you know you want to put that sauce on your on your hi hats, you can now and You can hear the hi-hats kind of going through this thing right now. Of course, I can do things like uh, turn down the step length. Ooh, I, oh, actually, no. I can turn down the mix. And uh, then add different intervals. Change the step, like four step. And let's go with the mix. There are other things I could do. I could do automation, but I want to walk through that in a video because I think that would be helpful. But now I have a little bit more variation to your hi-hats. Of course, you can always do some something like this too as well now. And, yeah. and adding like uh, the half speed effect. And now I can just go in here and just go into Q-Link 1 and let's see how that sounds with uh, the beat.
this right here. <laughs> Use a classic effect. Let's see, let's go with lead soft. Uh, what? What did I just do? Oh, it was in this, uh, Let me find out I did something foolish. Okay, cool. All right. So what I'm gonna do, that's an 808. But uh, no, 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 no. Let's pick an effect. Do a pitiation. record that in there. I'm not going to use that exact sound, of course. search for some sounds to mess my hype synth a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up in a, a program edit.
All right, let me stop playing with y'all boys. All right, so what I'm going to do here is this. Every single time I do a stream, I never lay out my beat. And it's, you know, the main reason why I don't lay out my beat is because I'm lazy. Okay? I like to keep it 1,000. I, I just go and revisit when somebody say, oh, hey, man, I want that beat. Then I lay the beat out. So I'm going to purge on you samples here. And I'm going to save it on my hard drive first before I do this. Okay? So how I lay out my beats, something like this, I don't stress about doing song mode because I'm so sick and goddamn tired of people talking about fucking an arranger on this goddamn machine as if it's the most important. It's difficult to lay out beats when it's the funnest thing about this goddamn machine. That's what makes this fun. This is why I like the, the Ableton Push 2 for when you, it came to laying out beats because the interaction, which sounds so much better than fucking making out of sliding over blocks and shit like that. Goddamn, that's some fuckboy shit. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm going to name this Trap Tendo real quick. I'm just going to name this beat. Save it. You know. And then I'll show you what the vibes are. All right, firmware vibes. I'm gonna call this firmware vibes too. Oh, I put I put fireware. Fuck. All right. Firmware vibes born. Okay. I got my Pierre born vibes going. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Pierre born. Uh, get an NPC nigga. It's time to leave free loose alone. Anyways, so I'm gonna say this beat real quick, and then I, I'll walk you through the vibes here. How you lay how you lay out your beats like this. Something like this, you know, you can you can get away with not using song mode. And it's real simple. All right. So leave that sequence the way it is. Just type just name it main or something like that. I don't care. You don't even have to name it. I'm just I just name my shit main. And then what I'll do is this. I'll just go into the pencil sign right over here. Go into sequence, copy sequence. That's what you saw me do. Go into copy sequence, then go into main. Then I'll go into this right here. I'll just name this full beat. So this next sequence will be full beat. So when the time comes, which I will print it out after the fact, full beat, do it. Go and do it, do it. We go and do it, do it, do it. Now go into uh, your sequence tab over here. Hit the pencil sign again. Two, three, four, five. Uh, double the sequence. I doubled the length a little bit too far. I'll mm, undo. Undo. Uh, 32 bars, 64. Boom. I need 64 bars. So I high rock. Okay. Now we have this whole entire beat here. All you have to do, go into your track mutes here. Mute the tracks that you that you uh, don't want to be played. Okay, that's all simple as this. Well, matter of fact, let's turn off uh, the metronome right now. And now let's go into the track mute right here. Just make sure that all the track mutes are ready to go. And then now you just vibe with your beat like I how I do all the freaking time. So let's hit the overdub. Two, three, four. All right, we're just recording the beat right now. Uh huh. And then you just continue to lay it out. Simple as that. You know how to count your bars and how you're gonna lay out your beat? Just lay out your beat. to beat man if you're a newcomer you might not lay out your beats perfect like this but who cares
And you just you just laying out your beat. And then you just, just vibe the fuck out, man. Don't worry about a damn thing. You just with your beat. And simple as that. Just turn overdub off because it's already, and then it's gonna play the beat from the very beginning, how you laid it out. Did I just blow, I your, just, mind? I just blow your mind? Did I just blow your mind? No. We'll do it live, fuck it! the reason why a lot of the old school beats like the old school trap and all the damn producers from way back in the day like their beats sound very unique because it's laid out with track mix dog are you kidding me yeah, you get to see it on the screen and on the pads That want the arranger Those bitch ass niggas Always moving the goalposts Machine plus users Are some hoes Yeah They always own the NPCs nuts But they always backwards Machine plus users are cowards Catch these hands. <laughs> I'm gonna see they man. <laughs> <laughs>
So what I'm gonna do here is this right here. Well, we're gonna experience it and see if we can do it, okay? So I'm gonna add an effect. Let me go all the way back here because I'm in kind of, all right, just hit the eyeball. Make sure that you're on this program thingy, boom. And then we're gonna go and look for half speed. Let's add half speed to this shit. And now, and you know what the vibes, we know what we're gonna do. I'm probably not gonna do it right there. All right, so let's go ahead and experiment. Let's see if we can actually record that in here. Okay, let's go ahead, overdub, because I'm not 100% sure. That's why I didn't do a video on it. So we want that. We already know we want that in there. <laughs> and this didn't get a machine plus. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna see if this works. I'm not sure. But you, you get where I'm going with this uh, isometric. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the sub. Let's see. works is gonna be fire. See if it works. Uh, I'm gonna listen. To, I'm gonna listen to it briefly, and then uh, we'll see if it works. If not, I think I might have to turn on the uh, the right. Uh, I don't think I did it on that part. If it works, I'm gonna scream. Like I'm gonna fucking scream. Oh, <laughs> it didn't work. 
Uh, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna listen to it to right here. Nope. Okay, it didn't work that way. Um, <clears throat> I know how I can do it. Hmm. Let's see. Right. Okay. Let's see now. Or we're gonna see, we're gonna see. TC needs to be off. Really? Sure. I'm a, I'm a fr I don't think it, it, like, the Machine Plus needs a full version of Contact to work. I mean, holy shit, it barely works on the computer, the best computers. Hey, hey, hey. my 808 I made that 808 CJ Merck uh, I don't know it might be in the description box but it is from I, I'll show you in a second I made it myself, Musa. If you wanna know where this 808 came from, I'll show y'all right now as I do this. Uh, the 808 came from right here. Go into stores. My DJ at McCree.net, I believe. Go to preset banks. And it should, it should be in here. Try to. And it's right here. I tried. Let's see. There's only one to me, Sublab, that's mine. We'll see if this worked. He said turn off, uh, turn off TC and it'll write it. I have it on write right now. If it works like this, it'd be dope. Woo! It works! Oh yeah. Fuck it. Fuck the machine. Hold up. Let me echo this shit just in case those niggas might be watching. My dogs that, that believe in the machine plus.
Fuck, fuck, fuck. The machine, the machine. Plus, 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 plus. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. <laughs> Come on, hell no. Oh, uh, shit. Nah, I didn't turn off uh, TC. I had to turn on right here. Well, you see it right here. It says write and then read. Uh, you have to turn on. You have to turn on uh, the automation to write an automation on whatever track that you're using the insert on. And then you'll be able to do that. And you can universally turn on uh, right over here. If you can see it. Oh, now, now my damn chat working on my damn, <laughs> fuck it. Anyways, you know how it'd be. No. We'll do it live, fuck it. But uh, that is incredible. That is freaking incredible. Are you, so, so now <laughs> it is possible to do half speed. That means I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my hi hats like that too then. Bruh, that's gonna be hella fun. That's gonna be hella fun to make beats like that. Let me say that. Bruh, that is incredible. But yeah, thank you for subscribing, by the way. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, man. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, guys. The Machine Plus is pretty good. I'm, I'm not going to be one of those people that. I mean, I have all. I have every essential groove box right now to this very moment. You know what I'm saying? Just the main one that I rock with is this one right here. Because this one hits heart and soul. Uh, this company actually listens to people. It might not happen soon or fast enough for a lot of people, but they listen to a lot of people. So, you know, that makes the experience so much better for that. Um, hopefully I answered everybody's questions. I never tried to figure out what that button did. Uh, yeah, they write your automations and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, please give us timestamps. I'm going to have to re watch this part. Oh, yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, it's a lot of things that, like I laid out the beat, won the sweat. It was just, you know, having fun, laying out the beat. That's typical. I think what track mutes were introduced, what on the MPC 2000 XL, I believe it might be the 2000. No, I, I think it was the XL where they uh, introduced track mutes. So, I mean, it's all about knowing that particular old workflow and then put it in the modern day. And now you got, you could do things like put in effects the new effects obviously the better effects the that have been added but you know you could do all kinds of crazy stuff and i always just scratch the surface of a lot of things i mean if i was to go into drum program let's go into drum to this drum program there's like what effects let me see effects two uh you can add different effects to Like you can add different effects to it, you know, you can add drum effects. Like There's a whole bunch that I have not touched up on that any Mac has touched up on. So, you know, uh, type. Um, let's see. But yeah, you can add effects to these right here. Like you, can, you can really shape up your, your drums and shit like that, bro. Like you can really uh, shape up your drums, add different uh, types of effects uh, that will be convenient for you. I don't know why in the world. Uh, okay, by default, those are gain. Oh, I get it now. Okay, cool. I'm not going to mess with that. I'll just do a separate video on that. But yeah, I mean, there's so many different freaking ways to uh, do. Yeah, you can layer your drums. I mean, you have four different layers. So if you have like a kick on here, you can layer with another kick. Um, you also can do round robin, meaning that it, you, if you have like different kicks that you want on one pad, you can have four different kick samples. Now, keep in mind, if you add so many damn samples to a kick, or, or, I mean, samples to a, a program, it's gonna take up a lot of virtual memory inside of the MPC. So that's not advised, but you know, you can do that if you want, if you wanna do that. Um, I see somebody I was talking about, they wanna see bass slides. So basically, how sliding 808s work, and let's go into the main beat. Uh,
So, the, so with this main beat, I have, I have a whole entire tutorial on uh, key groups. So go see that, how you load up a basic key group and all that stuff. Uh, it's in the description box. Just go to my playlist. It's one of my recent videos about key groups. But uh, from this moment right here uh, and this update, you can do sliding 808. So uh, all you have to do is on the MPC Live is press and hold menu, go on the program, edit. On the MPC X and the MPC One, just press the program edit button. Yeah, I know. But uh, <laughs> either way, you have a tab over here called Portamento and Modulation. So you have Portamento that you can do in two different ways. So uh, since I have that, I can just dial it in. You can hear it. Let's just overshoot it for the sake of it. Make it a little faster. Yeah, quantize where quantizing it will it will step up. Like it's like it will step up to that pitch. It sounds funny. Yeah, so you have that. Uh, and then you have legato. And how legato works is basically this. So if I press this, if I press this and then this, it won't slide up. But if I press this pad and press and hold down this pad and go up that, uh, go to this pad, it will slide up this way. Let's add quantize to it. So if you want to do any uh, slide 808s and stuff like that, yeah, you, you got that. It's on there. Uh, Zounds has the Live 2 Retro back in stock at McCree. Thank God. I mean, damn. <laughs> but first class, that is the answer to that question. Is it possible to automate bass slides? Yeah, it's always been possible to automate your bass slides in the MPC, but nobody wanted to do it that way. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Everybody, oh, 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 I don't want to do it that way. I want one button in it. If he put one button on here, I can do my away slides because I can't. I don't want to draw the anyways in there. Ugh. I had to hear that fucking shit so many fucking times. So fucking much. <laughs> hey, my, my live streams are raw, baby. <laughs> it gets annoying to hear people talking about, like, oh, can you? Uh, and, and I'm not making fun of the person. Oh, by the way, I'm not making fun of you because you asked that question uh, first class. It's just uh, I remember the people when I was like, oh, yeah, you can pitch slide 808s. And they was like, oh, you can, no, you can't. And then I show people how to do it using automation. Oh, but it's not like Freddy Loops. Freddy Loops. Freddy Loops. It's so you can do it like this. It's Freddy Loops. Oh my God. It's not like Freddy Loops. It's not like Freddy Loops. I'm like, come on, fucking. Oh my God. It's fucking children. But, uh, well, I, as I make, as I act childish, talk about children. But yeah, uh, hopefully. Uh, you guys got what you wanted out of here. Uh, I'm not going to make another beat. Um, what I'm going to do is just uh, save what I got. I got two beats out of this stream. That's good enough. Uh, I will stream again probably, I guess, Thursday. And I will make sure that you guys have all the questions answered. And, you know, I, I'm going to go and deep dive because I'm trying to do stuff with... Uh, uh, shout out to Teddy Bear Asaurus for checking me out because I, I want to do some work with him um on some music and and a few other people you know <laughs> some operculum audio at mccree you know maybe but uh you know i just i definitely want to uh kick it with a lot of the people and, and reach out and do stuff producing on the mouse is boring as fuck well ab absolutely um also tomorrow i will have some new videos up i gotta do a mandatory video which i was supposed to do last wednesday uh <clears throat> 
I have a video that's been supposed to do is based on a song that I did produce using the MPC. Uh, Y'all heard it at the very beginning of the stream. Um, and I'll have more footage of that video out. And hopefully, <laughs> I wish I would have recorded the actual session itself, but that would have really gave context to the content. Um, but you know, uh, nobody's perfect. Uh, appreciate your first class. Um, but yeah, more MPC footage videos, of course, through the course of the week. And yeah, I'll, I'll have a lot more stuff going on. Matter of fact, I can sit my ass down. Uh, man, and I, I just run the joint while here. Boom. Uh, uh, maybe, hold up. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, what did I do? All right. Oh, we'll be supply. Oh, word. Let me find out. I don't fucked up my beat. Uh, it's your fault. Whoever it was that suggested that I messed up my beat. Oh, no. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Perhaps. Let's see if I can load it back up. Uh, browse. Ah, whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no. Let me check. Let me check because I might have fucked it up for real. Do, 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 do. Da, da. There we go. I don't like my stuff up here. MPC songs. Mm, let's go and reload that because I didn't save that in this fucked up state. All right. Yes. Reload that beat, sir. Ma'am, actually, because my MPC is a woman. Um, there we go. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I will have more content uh, coming soon. Of course, uh, main thing I want to focus on is more mixing and stuff like that. I think th those videos will help. I got mandatory videos that I have going on and I still got the pitch slide shit on my 808 now. Thank you, first class. But, uh... <laughs> no. We'll do it live! Fuck it! But, uh, yeah, so, you know, more videos like that. Again, check out a couple of videos that I have uh, up right now that are very low in views, but I do want to give a shout out to, uh, I want to say Mike, Matt Stryton. My Strite, uh, Matt Stryton, that uh, does a lot of NPC videos. Uh, check him out. Uh, again, you know, we got a very good community of, of, of very talented music producers. Um, and uh, people that, that try to help as much as you can. Thank you for the sub, for the sub, for the sub. We have a lot of talented producers that uh, bring a lot to the table when it comes to this NPC stuff. I have two videos that I drop, you know, they're, they're fairly decent in views. I don't expect them uh, to, to do great in views because there are things that, you know, I don't think everybody's a M1, Apple M1 MacBook user like I am, but you know, it works with the, the Mac one now. I mean, the Mac one, the Apple M1 chip, Big Sur uh, computers. I got the MacBook Air M1. And also I have this video up here. If you need any assistance on how to install the firmware onto your MPC, I'll take a different thing here. I'm wearing the same damn hoodie and that, like I have here. Uh, man, I didn't know I had my chain all the way tucked in like somebody about to rob me or something. But, uh, <laughs> Come on, hell no. but yeah, you know, I have those videos there. Uh, I will be refreshing a lot of content. Uh, because the 2.10 update does change a lot of things. So functionality wise, it'd be a little bit difficult to figure out uh, because they even changed the UI and I was like fudge. But at the same time, I think it'd be helpful if I have like a how to make a uh, your first beat, you know, and, and again, you know, and for the NPC one, because that video, even though it's helpful to a lot of people, is also uh, <laughs> I, it was a horrible, horribly shot video for the time, but you know, as things go, 
Uh, shout out to all the people that have just got their NPCs. Uh, is now is a very good time to have one. Uh, hopefully, uh, I will be able to do a video on this, the Tascam Model 12. I will ask Akai if you want my uh, any sounds from me. I do have sounds on my own website here. Uh, the 808 that I used in this beat uh, comes from this right here. If you have Sublab the the plugin, the VST plugin, you can use the presets, but it comes with over uh, 30 wave files of the same preset, so that way you can just use the uh, the the one shots, the wave, the WAV files. Shout out to Andy Mac for WAV. I, I actually kind of like saying it that way. Uh, you can also preview the sounds and stuff like that. A lot of older uh, things that I have created uh, on this website that I'm gonna revisit. I got drum kits too. Um, I've I've done it all, guys. I've done it all. I'm gonna get back to it. I'm doing some expansions. I don't want to kind of ruin that, but I am doing some some uh, NPC expansions. Uh, they will be solo dolo projects. They won't be supported by Akai until uh, Akai puts some respect on my name, uh, which I'm pretty sure they are gonna do it. They could probably be like, hey, okay, man, you're 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 <laughs> people like your shit, but yeah. Uh, but how do you slide the made weights? Don't worry, I will have timestamps available uh, at the end of the stream. But again, appreciate everybody for joining in the stream here. We are out. We've been streaming for two hours and uh, 19 minutes. Yeah. Peace out, guys. I'm about to hit y'all with that. You already know what. Uh, and yeah, y'all have a good evening. Peace. <laughs>